Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of LA Noir. Let's play I'm Zilla Shot, and you'll be glad to know that my squeaky chair is gone and been replaced with a sturdy one, so you hear no more than mouse squeaks. Uh, anyway, let's jump straight into this episode. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. Step away from the door. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro, I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money, or because we're investigating a prize-fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. It's up to us to look around, even though it's fucking Roy's money has been lost. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. I don't think that's going to be anything. Well, it is, I mean, it is tape, it is wraps, but... Not anything pertaining to the case? I mean, it's not really a case, is it, so far? Aha! Harlan Fontaine. Have a seat, young Sheldon. Is his name Sheldon? What's his name? It's some, like, quite, like, feminized name. Can't remember. Let's have a look anyway. Courtney, Courtney, that's it. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. 
Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. He's a magician. What? I don't know what accent I was supposed to do there. It's somewhere between Courtney and uh, Harlan Fontaine. He speaks like English isn't his first language, that Fontaine. Um, we found everything, right? So what next? R and I could trace that phone number, find out who that limey was talking to before he cut. You better find ah. that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too. There he is. See he guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh met his brother-in-law damn <laughs> Cohen makes me laugh man it's like he's supposed to be like the villain of the game but he just I think you had the mixture pretty scared back gets then. made to look a mug like, every time like, he, there's like a, a scene with him he just ends up like looking like a bit of a dick at the end all right anyway so we're calling R&I I'm doing the legwork even though we're after Roy's money um I mean, I suppose it is the game, isn't it? Am I getting mad? Where's the phone? Oh, it's there. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You know the price as well, Roy, eh? It's getting his convertible. Head to the CD Hotel El Mar. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. 
is the Hotel El Mar. Cheap rates and hot water. Yeah, what do you want? Friendly? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. That's a guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Now there's an oxymoron for you. Yes. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Uh, British guy. Wow, he's got quite quite a few famous people who visited here, haven't they? Wow, look at that. Orson Welles. What the hell? I'm joking. Um, so obviously you're gonna find an English fella. Marilyn Monroe. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. <laughs> Into that <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Winston Churchill. Um. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from the shadow. We'll fight them on the beaches. We'll fight them on the landings. We'll fight them in the boxing ring. And then abscond. There we go. Going to church doesn't make Doors you unlocked. Well, you can see why they made you a detective. Instaheat. Hmm. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Does that? Does that? Parnell Soup Company as well. Um. So we've got Candy Edward Edward Edwards. Uh, his name in a coupon. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Have. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. It's a buzzing in my left ear. I think it's like some flies or something. Some, some tickets. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! Movie ticket. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. It's really annoying that buzzing. Was it? Alright, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Well, that's where I am in E1 London. Don't know if there's a brick lane around here. I'm sure there is. Um, that's just his gum shield. Ew. Probably nothing. Ew. Cigarettes with lipstick on the butt. Gives us angle if he has a real love interest. More? More? Uh, probably this note here. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. And that's your lot. What a way to stand. Very cool stand. Stance. Come on, let's get out of here, Roy. Out of the flop house. Alright, let's go after his Look, girl. you've seen the register. See that That's all the help I can offer. Okay, I just don't know, I just like getting unique dialogue right, where possible. Okay, let's head to Candy Edwards' apartment, which was listed on, or wrote, written on the uh, coupon. Some funky tunes on. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push ups. No one can do a thousand push ups. That's just insane. Unless he means, like, over a period of a day. <laughs> Well, maybe like one person in the world could do a thousand push-ups, but certainly not in one go. 
Well, maybe in one go. Oh, fucking hell, I'm so decisive. I need to know which room is Candy's. Maybe, to be fair, yes, no. Could be. Mr. Actually, to be fair. A man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. She's cute. This candy broad must be a sweet Even sound. with the uh, hideous cardigan or whatever the hell she's wearing. Just before I let you know <laughs> that this computer graphic. Give it up, bitch. Like oh, he's gone and fun. fucked both of us and you know where. Oh. <laughs> like hitting women, do you? What a stunt. This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Oh, yes, mate. Oh, yes, mate. The headbutt. Do you remember the first episode where um, a coal headbutted that. Um, How cold? That. Um, breathing. That fat Give guy off the top of the building and killed him. Alright, let's have a look in this. Bozo's jacket, or he's took his head. I mean, nothing's gonna be here, but I just wanna look. Now we're looking at his jacket pocket. I wasn't looking at it because there's nothing gonna be, nothing's gonna be in his hands. Oh, who's a naughty boy? Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Um, very, very high. I think that's why he said it in that tone. The carpet's absolutely disgusting, isn't it? Look at the carpet. Oh, it was a rug. Suitcase. She's leaving town. Huh. Well, she was leaving town. Oh, don't say it again. She's leaving town. All right. Uh, now what? Maybe I do have to look at his hands. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. So I have to look at his hands. His other hands. Oh, he hasn't got... Oh, for God's sake. What am I missing? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Okay. Escania sails from New York. Do that means. That's it. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. What a life had worse. We're about sort of Hammond's. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen Well, that's him. absolute horseshit, isn't it? You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Okay, and your fucking name was in the coupon. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Okay, uh, the list of odds recovered. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Ah, uh, you... Um, well, obviously we've got the... Uh, their names... The odds could be anyone. In Hammond's locker, um, but that can't really tie to that. Um, so I'm in doubt. I'm going to intuition. Um, move an answer. 
Oh, why every time? Let's accuse. I think I think it's bad cop. Let's accuse. They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Okay, how would you know? Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Payout calculations. That's not anything to do with her. The, it's either this, isn't it? It's either lie. But that's not... Surely that's in Hammond's locker, so it has to be... You're off the hook. For it now. has to be doubt, right? It has to be doubt. Oh, what? What? Give up these men. Oh, we'll think fuck. Think about letting these charges against you slide. What? Charges against me? Oh. All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings for him as well? How? So therefore it must be the one in the locker, right? The, but how would she know about his the, the, the list of names in the locker? Anyway, plans to leave town. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Okay, let's have a look at the notebook again. And there's the bus ticket. Candy Edwards going... Well, we don't know. She, maybe she lives in fucking... Maybe it's this. Postcard depicting passenger liner. And there's the bus ticket to Ohio. Oh my god, please, please, please get rid of good cop. Just give me a break for once. Give me a break. Get rid of good cop. Oh no, that's what we get rid of one of them. Yeah, so bad cop. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if you can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo. You hunk. <laughs> and get rid of that pig sticker. <laughs> you ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. <laughs> that bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I love this sort of old school way of dealing with things like just at the blokes. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Oh, sick. We get to tail someone. It's my favourite. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. <laughs> there she goes. This is uh, quite hard, actually, from what I remember. Um, she just like looks behind arbitrarily and like kind of um, unnaturally. And an unnatural amount of times. Oh God! Just do a quick shout out to my other let's play, which I probably mentioned about five times in every single which slack. Every single episode of this let's play. Um, but I have started uh, my uh, Skyrim one now. If you are interested, and um, I'm playing as a Khajiit, um, which is. Um, a race which I haven't played with before, nor uh, I don't think many, well, at least I haven't seen anyone play as a Khajiit as well on Skyrim. So it's a bit different, and so go and check it out on my channel if you want to see it. Because I know this game is very niche. Um, but my friends are like, not like I'm telling everyone I'm doing this or anything like that, but like a few people know I do this, and I, especially like now with like the lockdown and stuff, I'm, I'm doing this. You know, it's just a good excuse, something to do. It just gives you something to do with your day. And um, we used to like, oh, you should do some like online multiplayer games. Because well, uh, um, you'll get loads of views and stuff. And while that's all well and good, I don't really care. Like, but I'd rather do like get like a hundred views on like a game and have like a few people entertained and do games that I want to do than do 
a game I don't like and get like many more views. I honestly couldn't care less. This is like, I know it sounds selfish, selfish but this is my, my enjoyment and I think that would resonate anyway. That if I were playing a game I didn't enjoy, that um, it would just come out on the Let's Play. Although I have heard a few times um, some like... Too much slack. Let's play advice of like never ever like play let's plays when you're like in a bad mood because you're cut, but and like or be grumpy. You should be happy all the time. Um, but if I'm frustrated about something or like in the game, then I'm just gonna be frustrated about it. Like I'm not gonna try and be like this kind of like zany presenter. Like, hey guys, how's it? I honestly couldn't care less. Like, the reason I enjoy doing like watching let's plays was only one person I watch is because it's like it's kind of like cool to hang around with. Uh, like, like being in this company and it's just kind of like background material you just have it I don't sit there like if it on the screen like watching it intently it's just like kind of cool you just whack it on like the playlist and it goes on for hours and then you can just like do your work whatever kind of like listening to it um, I know I've gone on a bit of a rant but it is um, it was kind of needed at this point because what the fuck am I going to talk about like <laughs> Tailing this woman for like half an hour. Oh, I wonder what she's going to do next. Um, but I don't know if you noticed as well, she does look around quite a lot. Um, so I basically, my um, my plan uh, is Move in. every, every time he says that, that's when I know, you know, too much slack. I, I can much. move. Oh, please hurry up, that truck. Um, then that, that's when I know the cue to start walking again. Just sit here or stand there, wait until she goes, and then. And oh my god, if she spots me towards the end, what the fuck? This is gonna be crazy. What am I gonna say? Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Oh fuck! <laughs> Did she do it? Oh. Cool. So I'm just going a bit silent now. I'm just making sure that she just goes there and then we're able to creep to that shed. And then when she creeps around that wall, then um, we'll, we'll make a run for that wall. Yeah, to do, do now, to be fair. Hiya, guys. Creeping on this one woman here. <sighs> Don't mind me. Oh, 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 get to the wall. That's it, quick, go, 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 Cole. Uh, but that said, obviously, it would be, I'm not saying I'm being like a pure, like, I do, would obviously like to have, like, as many views and subscribers as possible, but I, I realise, like, you know, there's so many people do this that, it's just not possible to like, you know, get loads anymore, I don't think. And you should always do something you enjoy for the enjoyment of doing it, not for the end goal in sight. Bookmakers? Yeah. In any aspect of like, whether that's Rise career or any goal you have, like, whether that's painting or something, like, do it because you enjoy it. Forget about all the shit, like, Oh, I'll never become a Picasso. It was a fuck that. Like, just do it because that's your passion. Like, uh, is this even a shop? A blonde woman just came in here. Isn't that the cop who she went out the, the back way? Got... Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? Thirty-six hundred dollars. She claimed me out on the Hammond Kid Galahad fight. You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. It's not quite satisfying about doing this, I have to say. Um, I'm not very good at accent, American accents, like, uh, but it sounds like, is that guy like, isn't he from New York? Isn't that like a New York accent? Or... I don't know. I don't really know what an LA accent sounds like, to be honest, I've got to say. 
We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is why you don't have any subscribers, Zilla, because you're fucking swearing all the time, taking zips of Diet Coke and shit. <laughs> collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Yeah, I'm not going to do that dispatch, because if I recall, this mission is very, um... Uh, there's not much questioning uh, in it, you know, and uh, a lot of driving and so I think I don't think it'd be an appropriate time to do it on this mission. Um, because I want to make, you know, every episode as mixed as possible. So you get a lot of, you know, not just me talking all the time, like... Ranting about Skyrim and <laughs> how to do Let's Plays. Uh, okay. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleanest. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did you leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Is that it? Is that a real accent? I mean, what is that? Does he need a glass of water? Or... A... Dunno. Yellow cab. We need to get after her. Fast. Oh. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Mm. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Thanks. All right, so Candy. This. We're done playing Please. around. Get Mervin to give us an address on Ray's place. Okay. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervin. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. If I um, lived in a town and there was a bookies and I used the bookies, I'd want him to be the proprietor. He just sounds just like you'd expect. You know what I mean? Like such a cliche. Okay. Start going or do we go in here? Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Raise bookmakers. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. You didn't trust us. Oh, look where you're going. Sugar Ray? Not now, Mervyn. Ow! What are you doing? Oh, do we have to creep on her? That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. Oi, 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 this is uh, a lot of tailing in this episode. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. 
Don't lose that What cap. the fuck are these two plebs doing? You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Oh, why don't you drive the car for once, Roy? Oh, god damn! Spooked him. Back into traffic, Phelps, now. How many stops is she gonna make? I'm not sure, but I reckon it'll be quite a few. <laughs> I like this um, mission in particular because it's got a British guy in it and uh, every time there's a British guy in an American like uh, show I'm like oh he's like re representing us like it used to annoy me when The Simpsons was on and they had like a British guy and it used to be like ridiculous like oh hello it's like oh I was like no that's not us that's not what we're, we don't like that we're cool I'm sure he was gonna win So with that taxi seems to be so slow and monotonous and then um or uh laboursome and then when it goes around a corner it seems to like tear. Was it flashing at the top there? Does that mean it's being used presumably? I kinda of thought maybe this is an indicator. Oh does it have indicators these cars? That's pretty cool. Don't know why I'm so excited about that. Remember, they always have had indicators. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Oh, Cole. shut up, Roy. Oh, fuck. Shit. Better drop Oh, back, this Cole. is not going well, is it? But look. That bitch has given me what I look, know. Look, it goes so slow. When I, I go around the corner, I seem to go... Whoop. Maybe it's just the way it looks. I'm not sure. It's like some sort of... Um, illusion. Blah! That's a cool advert. Blah! <laughs> what am I on about now? God. You better stop soon. Because <laughs> I'm running out of things to talk about. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Pull over. He's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tell him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. I want candy. I want candy. Is that from Goodfellas? Or maybe it's from The Sopranos. It's from some mobster show. I can't recall which. I want candy. I can't remember. It's definitely not Godfather. Alright, let's go in the girls' toilets and find her. Oh, shh. Wait. Someone, please! Uh, where do we go? Back here, this way again? That's okay. Still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Yeah. Let's have a little look for a handbag. Oh, let's have a look at this gun first. Snub nosed revolver, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on! This is ridiculous! <laughs> oh. 
sorry. 32 caliber. One shot fired. I've only heard a couple of shots. Um. Have a look in here. It's a movie ticket. The Egyptian theater. Thirty cents. Some pharaoh prices. Am I right? Huh? So what now? Theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Yep, let's get the hell out of here. You hear him in musical films, and now you hear him. They don't know to move if the siren's not on. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. So it's not Hammond who killed her, it was Mickey C. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. Player. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. The Egyptian theater. Have a little look in here. Um, um, let's have a pyramid pyramid in here. Pi does that work? Pyramid. <laughs> <you> <laughs> <together>, <laughs> <Carlo>. My voice. <laughs> you grew up with me. She was collecting the money for you. Pyramid in here. There we go. Made it clear it Brilliant. Me or you and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best. Kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck. And Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. I had art. I had art. Carlo, I could have made it. I could have been a contender, Carlo. I could have had class. <laughs> this sounds like a... I don't know, it sounds like an American doing a British accent. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Oh, God. What is shoot me from? Sweet, mate. Come on, Cole. Carlo's a dead man. This go and kill them all, eh? Roy? Let's kill all the Yankees. Throw out the guns. Oh, I'll stop doing that now. Oh, this fucking game. I don't really want a shotgun. I want my pistol back. Oh, this is pathetic. <laughs> right, we're using a shotgun. I can't find a pistol. Weapons on the ground. No. How am I supposed to go upstairs? That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm wide open here. Yeah, I'm doing terribly. I'm. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, this is another shotgun. Okay. Where are you? You lying cocksucker. 
have a bowl for here. Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. I still want to die, you know. Oh, fuck off. Oh, shit. That really hurts. That really hurts? <laughs> Ow! Stop shooting me. Oh, sweet. Okay, now is there more? Oh, what was that? Who's that? There's Carlo dead. And that's us. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's Homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Just appeared from nowhere. Yeah, there's only three questions in that entire um, episode. Like, an entire mission. Um, uh, Albert Hammond sells for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. Okay, excellent. Distinguished, because you got that question wrong. Um, I'm not sure how long we would have had to tail Candy had we, or had I, um, got the question correct, the middle question correct. Um, but anyway, another one done. Um, thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned. Well, don't stay tuned, but keep your eyes peeled for the next episode, and please comment, like, and subscribe if you are enjoying the series so far. It'll be a big, big hand. Thank you.